Hi lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do my Halloween house decorate with me slash house tour. Make sure to stick around till the end so that you can see the finished product. Um, I will also show you guys what it looks like at night with all of the lights turned off and oh my gosh it's gonna be awesome. So let's turn this very very drab into spooky fab. So first things first, I made sure to put all of my Halloween decorations out right in front of me so I know what I have and what I can use. And um, this is a voiceover by the way, <laughs> just for better voice quality for you guys. But I'm just pointing out all of the stuff, literally all of that is what I bought this year, which is so crazy. Just those, it's just that like top bin pretty much was all I had for Halloween slash fall decor and now my collection has grown. And those were like Christmas ornaments. I wasn't sure if I was gonna use any of that, but I just kept them out just in case. And then up on the countertop, I do have a few things from uh, Bath & Body Works that were more breakable that I kept up there. It was a little overwhelming to see all of that decor right in the center of my house and I kind of didn't know where to start. So whenever that happens, I just start with things that I know are going to go in a certain spot. So for example, this, I, I later on changed this, but I was planning on keeping all my spooky mugs on top of this little riser um, that I got from the Target dollar spot that I recently hauled. So I decided to start with that. And of course, things are going to move around and it won't be finalized till the very end. And usually I'm still decorating all the way up until Halloween. But yeah, I just started with that, tried to kind of organize as much as I could and took it from there. This was another item that I knew exactly where it was gonna go. I wanted to plug it in behind my Keurig or right beside my Keurig. And then I had this like Bath & Body Works candle holder bust looking thing. And I knew exactly where I wanted that, which was um, in my husband's office. So I went ahead, took away my central perk sign, um, at least for Halloween. And I plugged this beauty in. And the candle holder, I just went straight away and put that exactly where I wanted it to go. So this method really helped me clear up the big amount of decorations I had. So I started to do that all around the house. I knew that these pop figures were going to go here um, because I was planning on making my husband's study into like a little Hogwarts theme. So um, I just kept all of my pop figures right there. But then, tragedy struck. <sighs> And this is why I literally cannot film and do things at the same time. I dropped this and there's like a huge crack going through. Oh my gosh. Ah, that's a piece missing. Oh my gosh, I can't. This is why I can't have anything even like slightly breakable. This is not even like full on ceramic. I don't even know what this is, but do you see this? This is not a toy for decorative use only. This is for people like me. This is a warning for people like me. So after that atrocity happened, I decided to just put on a little Halloween movie. This is Paranorman playing on in the background. And um, that just really helped me get in the groove and start to lay things out. Um, I also, of course, had to light a pumpkin candle to really set the mood. By the way, I am obsessed with this new candle pedestal from Bath & Body Works. Okay, so I have a wreath for every single holiday except for Halloween because I really want to get that perfect wreath. Um, I may end up making one myself someday, I don't know, but this is the wreath that I had to work with. This is my fall wreath. It's, you know, not very spooky looking as you can see, so I just took some tool from the Dollar Tree and just wrapped it around. It ended up looking kind of like a spooky donut, <laughs> but I mean, at least it was better than what it was before, so I just kept it as is. It's pretty easy, and you can take it off, you know, and reuse it, like the original wreath for fall time, which I will be doing a decorate with me for fall time as well, so stay tuned. But um, yeah, I really like the glitter, and I liked that the leaves kind of showed through underneath. And I just used the orange tool, and then I had one purple tool left, and so I used that to create a little um, design. I also had 
<laughs> these little garlands. Um, they are they were very wimpy looking uh, because they're from the Dollar Tree. So I tried to kind of, you know, make them look a little bit more robust by wrapping them with the like thicker garland that I got from Hobby Lobby and it turned out much better. Uh, I really like the orange and the black. So in the beginning when I was kind of allocating each decoration to each room, I just put everything that I knew was going on the tear tray, actually on the tear tray, just to make sure that everything fit, but also so that it was kind of out of the way. And then I took everything off and kind of grouped it according to color. The colors that I like to use for Halloween are black, orange, purple, and green. And when I kind of divided the colors up, I noticed that, I mean, there was barely any green, but there was also a lot more like orange items than purple. So I added some purple tool just to bring out the purple a little bit more. And this is what I had so far. Of course, I kept adding little things here and there. But I basically tried to balance the tear tray as much as I could. If I had a big mug on the right side, I would try to put one on the left side. And it, it kind of creates like a zigzag pattern because um, I, I kind of went with the colors and the size of the items and everything like that. So if you kind of look, you can kind of see like a zigzag pattern. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But still, that's what helped me create my little tear tray. I'll just zoom in real quick for you guys. Um, all this stuff I have hauled, so um, I will link all of those videos down below in the description box so you can check it out. That uh, poison apple actually made with you guys last year for Halloween. So again, all of that will be linked. Um, <laughs> I pretty much tried to use anything and everything that I had Halloween-y, you know, because on that uh, left side you could see it was like the Disney villains but it was like a playing card uh, deck so um, yeah eventually I want to get enough Disney villain stuff to create like a Disney villain tier tray I think that would be so cool but I think my favorite part of this tier tray is the little cat at the bottom um, he kind of looks like he's trying to climb on to the tier tray uh, I got him from Bath and Body Works. He's actually supposed to be like a candle decoration. I also liked using the tool to kind of stuff the mugs. It kind of looks like some kind of potion or something is bubbling over top and I really like that effect. And also those little Mickey ear ornaments that you see around, you'll see some more later on, but um, those were also DIYs that we made together in the last year. They were literally so easy to make, but such a perfect way to add that little extra touch of Disney to your decor. So next, I decided to jump straight into the living room and just give you like a quick little overview and then we'll go into detail. So on this side, I have all of my beautiful new pillow covers um, and again, all of that will be listed below, all those hauls and everything. I do have another haul or two coming up this week, but I really wanted to get this video out to you guys as early as possible. <laughs> it was supposed to be out like in the beginning of October, and of course that didn't happen. So anyways, that is my new blanket and my beautiful pillow covers. And pillow covers are such a great way to tie in like your color scheme, you know, because my actual living room is a very like blue and gray so um, this was a great way to bring in that pop of color and then in the center um, on my coffee table I have my candle holder my new candle holder it reminds me very much of Alice in Wonderland with my beautiful pumpkin carving candle it's the best pumpkin candle ever and then I have this new little glass dome that I recently hauled and I just placed my new poison apple mug in there and all that little foamy stuff that you see is actually pillow filling because my pillow literally combusted in the dryer so I thought I would make the most of that filling um, and I added some pumpkins around there and then those coasters were a gift and I added some felt pumpkins on those coasters just for some variety and texture moving on um, oh first let me show you this little plug-in uh, that is also from Bath & Body Works. I have another one that is coming up later on, but I also wanted some light in this area 
And so I just had these little tea lights and had exactly four. So I just placed one in the center just to bring more light to that area. And then when we move over this way, we have this little pumpkin trio right here. Um, I actually was going to do a DIY, but I just love the way it looked. Kind of reminds me of Cinderella's carriage. And I just have the middle pumpkin on a riser sitting inside this um, beautiful basket that my family actually gave me. And then we have my little fireplace here. So let's start at the bottom. I have my little gnomes here. These are brand new as well. And to put little pumpkins next to them. I just love how they look. And these little brooms I decided to hang just on either side just to create some balance and some interest you know they kind of look like they're kind of floating and let's see i have this garland which i also used last year and uh the garland light is actually from walmart and then i just wrapped some dollar tree glittery halloween tool around it and then here we have more of those mickey eared uh, ornaments that we DIY last year and I just placed them on those felt trees which I actually got from the Target dollar spot last year and I added some glitter pumpkins and my little fall lanterns those lanterns are from Party City and here I have my new pumpkin the polka dot one and I kind of created a little hidden Mickey. That's what I was trying to show you guys. And again, I have my little Mickey Mouse Jack Skellington in the center. And uh, I have my little LED candles with some more pumpkins. And I just mirrored everything that I did to one side on the other side. That is my broken pumpkin, by the way. But um, I just hid the crack on the other side. <laughs> I actually have never seen Nightmare Before Christmas. I think I saw like maybe 20 minutes into it and I it was kind of boring and I ended up switching it to another Halloween movie but I mean I don't know I, I guess I should just watch the whole thing and decide but uh, do you love it is this like uh, is this something that I have to just watch for, through the whole thing for me to love it because I really want to love it but I, I don't know anyways going on to this other side so on the other side we had the cinderella carriage looking pumpkin situation and so here i wanted to balance it out with three more pumpkins and so i created a little mickey mouse pumpkin patch situation and when decorating lighting makes all the difference i love these fairy lights i actually got them from amazon and as you can see there's like a little remote and you can control which color you want and here i was trying to decide if i should go with orange or green or purple and i just really love the purple so much so i decided to go with purple and those LED candles in the center and around the pumpkins on the bottom are also color changing. So um, I don't know why on film it looks blue, but it's actually green because I wanted to bring in more green into my decor. But um, yeah, those also have a remote. Okay, so that was the living room. Now we're moving on to the dining room. And I wanted just something for that window right here because it was just looking so plain. So I, I didn't have any more Halloween garland or anything. So I decided to just braid some tulle from the Dollar Tree and create my own little spooky, scary looking garland. And I had some LED um, tea lights, placed them on either side of this painting that I did um, of Mickey Mouse in front of a haunted house and I put some little leaves on the top of each corner just to hide where I safety pin them together. Yes, I totally, like this is like a very hardcore, desperate DIY, as you can see. Anyways, um, on each chair, I decided to just wrap some tool, create like a little bow, just to dress up the chairs just a little bit. And I alternated between green, purple, and orange. And then right behind my tiered tray, um, behind my dining table, I have this little table that I want to decorate as well. And so I created, again, um, some balance by adding the same thing on either side. I made two uh, big bouquets of these purple flowers mixed with some pumpkin picks and some other like glittery branch sticks. And the 
great thing about Halloween is that it doesn't have to be perfect. It's it's better if it's like not perfect, you know? And on either side of the bouquets, I added these beautiful pumpkins, which I got last year from Hobby Lobby. They are actually made from spiraled wood. And then I added some glitter pumpkins on either side to kind of create another hidden Mickey. And I have some felt pumpkins just randomly on either side. Then I have my apothecary jars. On this one, I put the uh, like glitter pumpkin fillers as well as some little extra ornaments that I had. I used orange and purple. And then I have my little Halloween candy. Uh, I tried to keep around as much, or well, as little candy as possible because uh, it will all be eaten by me and my husband, so mainly me, mainly me, but still. Um, so that is my little Halloween candy that uh, I have in the center there, in the smallest apothecary jar, and then on the last apothecary jar I just duplicated what I did with the first one with the, all the pumpkin fillers and then we have my bouquet again and another hidden mickey right there and right in the center i placed my new sign it says wicked but the main attraction for me at least is the glittery mermaid um she just looks so beautiful and then i had an extra garland from uh i think this one was from dollar tree and i just draped it along the edge of that little table and right below that I mean you can't really see it um, so I didn't go into too much detail with decorating this but I did want oh, just a little bit of something just to balance it out so I added this little pumpkin it's actually like a little chalkboard but I didn't have any chalk so uh, I wanted to write happy Halloween on there but anyways I just added that behind the LED candle and put two more of those matte black pumpkins on either side and when you look straight up you see Mickey Mouse dressed as a vampire I decided to add him like right on top this is like a new Mickey stuffy that I got this year and I just couldn't find a place for him and then I was like well he's just gonna go over here and kind of look over all of the Halloween decorations so he's there guarding all of my decor so I mentioned before in a previous haul that I was looking for this Mickey Mouse ceramic cookie jar. The best I could do was find these little guys. And these are like these little candle like votive holders or something I think is what they're called. I don't even know. But I got three of them and I placed them on my big island. I didn't want too much clutter on the island because we do use the island a lot. So just, just to add a little bit of spookiness. And then that is like my uh, bug zapper that I recently hauled as well and that uh, light that it's emitting, you know, kind of added to the spookiness. And on the other side, I have my other maple leaf plug-in. This year, I decided to be a little extra and get some pumpkin spice dish soap. And right next to it, I have the Bath & Body Works Perfect Pumpkin um, Foam Hand Soap, which I actually really love. This is my first time trying any of their soaps and I loved it. And then I have my little pumpkin spice hand scrub, which I actually made on this channel before. And again, it'll be linked down below. I use it all the time, especially now that it's getting colder. I will be using it nonstop. It smells amazing, it works amazing, and it leaves your hands feeling like a baby's bottom. And here I put out my dish towels. Um, it's just an orange one next to this more Halloweeny one, The Witch's Inn, and I like how the baubles on this towel matches my pillows. If you noticed, like in the beginning, these pillows right here. And I didn't even notice until I was filming this, so I thought that was kind of cool. Now moving on to the coffee station. Starting from the left side, do you guys remember that little pumpkin little dispenser? Thing that we painted together that was another DIY. I mainly just put that there so I could cover up the hand sanitizer behind there. <laughs> so that is the reasoning for my placement of that. And then next to it I have my Keurig and on the Keurig I put my favorite Halloween mug which I also got this year. It says Happy Halloween. It does have the other characters on the other side but I of course wanted Mickey front and center. And then right next to that I have this pumpkin spice 
rooibos tea that is from Trader Joe's and I really like the way the tin looks so I mean that's part of the decor as well then we have my little haunted house um, plug-in from Bath and Body Works and this sign is also new it says there is magic in the night when pumpkins glow by moonlight and I just love the foiling on that sign when the light hits it it just kind of glows and I love it and then this is where I decided to move my mugs because I mean I couldn't see my mugs I wanted to display my Halloween mugs and this kind of ended up being mainly the evil queen I, I did not plan on doing that I just so happened to have a lot of evil queen stuff I guess I don't know but the mug in the center in the front is brand new uh, as well as those wine glasses I have all the other villains right there. I like this uh, placement better than when it was in the cabinet where I couldn't see my mugs. And finally, we are moving on to my husband's office. I definitely wanted this rug like front and center. This is supposed to be like kind of like an outdoor rug because it's pretty rough, but uh, no, I wanted it like front and center because I just love what it says. I think it's so cute. And then here we have the candle holder with haunted nights um, candle right on top. That candle, by the way, smells amazing. And next to it, I have a little frosted looking pumpkin. And then here I have another riser from the Target Dollar Spot. And I, my plan was to make a bunch of potions with you guys, like prop potions, you know? Uh, maybe next year we will do it. I just did not have the time this year, but I did my best. I just filled it with a bunch of random stuff. And the one in the center is again that pillow stuffing. I, I wanted to make the most of that pillow stuffing. <laughs> so I use that in the center. It kind of looks like maybe a spider web. I don't know. That is like right above my new book collection. I recently hauled a bunch of those spooky books and again it will be listed down below for you guys to watch. I just love the placement of my books. They just look so perfect and added to the decor. Then here we have a little pumpkin, then we have Hedwig, and then we have Mickey as a wizard. And we have another pumpkin, he's kind of just holding on to that little pumpkin right in the center. And I love these pumpkins by the way, they just give me so many Cinderella vibes, I love it. And then here is my very sad Harry Potter tear tray. Again, I wanted to make a bunch of little things to add to the tear tray with you guys, but I ran out of time. so. I just put my little Harry Potter cauldron soup bowl, which I actually use every year. And then I have my little pop figures. And in the back, I just put these little matte black pumpkins on these little risers. It looks pretty sad, but you know, it's the best I could do with what I had. And I just, I definitely didn't want to buy more stuff. Next to that, I had a little pumpkin. Then up here, I did the best I could. This is where you can see that I ran out of Halloween decorations. <laughs> so I have these little risers that I got from Hobby Lobby, I believe, last year. And I put my frosted pumpkins on there. And this little potion box thing uh, I got from Target Dollar Spot this year, uh, which I recently hauled. And I had these little bottles from Dollar Tree and I just filled it with just random things. These are like little message in a bottle kind of things. I don't know. I don't know. They're supposed to be like for a necklace or something, like a little pendant. But I thought it looked spooky enough for me to use in the decor. And the other two have pearls. Very random, but you know, whatever. <laughs> and then in the center I have my last pumpkin, my matte black pumpkin. And I only had one fairy light left, so I just had it draped like going across the entire room. Thankfully it was very long. And I didn't have enough decor for my beauty room but um, I did have my little candle wax warmer and it is Disney villain theme. I absolutely love this thing. It is so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Um, it will be in a haul that is coming up so make sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications. I also forgot to show you guys this little thing that I did to my light fixture. I just wrapped some garland kind of like in a drapey pattern to create kind of like my own spooky chandelier. Very desperate attempt to add some decor up there because I don't know it just 
it needed something extra. So now it was time to turn on all the candles and all the lights. And this is my favorite part of lighting a candle. Getting a fresh candle and lighting it is just, I don't know. I don't know why I love it so much, but I wanted to share it with you guys as you see here. Anyways, so now I'm going to show you what all of the decor looks like with all the lights turned on. And oh my gosh, I love it. It's not as extravagant as how I was hoping to do in the beginning but it still gave me all of the spooky vibes and I absolutely love it and especially just like in person oh my gosh it just I love it I love the colors I love just everything the the vibes it just had the perfect balance of spooky and cozy which is exactly what I wanted and real quickly last thing I wanted to show you was my little poison apple mug I told you about the pillow stuffing but then I also put my glow cube in there to kind of make it glow and look very misty um, and I really like the effect that that had um, the glow cube is actually from Disney World from one of the drinks that I got there and the gnomes are here just getting warm and toasty Alrighty you guys, so that is it for this Halloween decorate with me slash house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will have the footage of all of the lights turned on at night for you guys along with some very beautiful spooky Halloween copyright free music for your enjoyment. But before I let you go, please subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Happy Halloween!